Good morning, nurses. So I would like to talk about the balloon pump today or the intra-aortic balloon pump, IABP. And this is a device that we use, uh, primarily it's inserted in the cath lab, but I have seen it inserted at the bedside in the ICU. It is a device to be used for uh, letting the heart rest. Decreasing the workload of the heart is the main goal or purpose of a balloon pump. The way it works is there's a very long balloon that um, is basically, it goes in your aorta, goes up through your groin, and the bottom of the balloon is just above the renal arteries so that you don't occlude the renal vessels. That way you don't lose your kidneys. And the top of the balloon is right below the heart and you're in the thoracic aorta. So if you imagine the balloon is taking up a large majority of your torso and it inflates and deflates with every heartbeat. And it, we, the machine uses nitrogen in order to fill and def, inflate, deflate the balloon because nitrogen is a very light gas and you can shuttle it really fast into the balloon and out of the balloon. So that's how it works. Now the balloon timing is what's super important. Now the machine pretty much does this automatically by detecting the EKG and looking at when the heart is contracting and resting. And what happens is while the heart is resting, the balloon is inflated. And that's really important that you are actually occluding the aorta for a short time. You know, we're talking about one heartbeat. While the heart is resting, the balloon is inflated. And what that does is now the blood can't get out of the heart. So it pushes the blood into the heart, feeding the coronary arteries. So while the heart is resting, it's getting extra blood and it's, um, getting extra perfusion to allow the heart muscle that has either been damaged by an MI or maybe the patient was in flash pulmonary edema, something like that. Uh, it allows that heart to recover and recuperate. So then right before the heart is getting ready to pump the blood out, the balloon deflates and it deflates so fast, right as the heart is pumping the blood out, it's almost like sucking the blood out of the heart. It makes it that much easier for the heart to pump the blood out. So it's pumping against very, very little pressure. Okay, so think about the heart is resting. It's getting more blood, more perfusion because the balloon is inflated. And then right as it gets ready to contract, the balloon deflates and the blood goes out really fast uh, and really easily into the blood vessels. So you have that happens with every single beat. You get more blood flow and oxygen to the heart and then you get more blood flow and oxygen to all of your organs. So the balloon pump is a mechanical way to uh, decrease the workload of the heart and improve oxygenation and perfusion to blood vessels. The balloon pump is usually only in the patient for three or four days. It's only a temporary fix and um, it's something that they're usually a one-to-one -one patient in the ICU uh, post-insertion and the nurse is looking at things like the, there's a big catheter inside of the groin. And so you have to keep that groin straight and you have to monitor that site very carefully for bleeding and hematoma and to make sure that your catheter is still uh, in line. And you also have an arterial line that you're measuring and you're looking at the mean arterial pressure and you're looking at the augmented pr blood pressures because the blood pressures will be lower because you're decreasing that, um, the pressure while the heart is pumping. So I hope that gives some explanation on balloon pump if you were unclear on that. And uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions and make sure you go to my YouTube and like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks.